what is up my aesthetic boys, it's Fresh, back with another episode of Murdered by Words. Today we'll check out Celebrity Lisps, Short Kings, and the worst Infinity Stone powers possible. Let's talk about it. The guy who co-founded Amway died, age 92. Eight people will carry his casket, but 16 more will have to carry them. What's up, bro? Do you think I've peed a million times in my life? <laughs> Hell nah, son. Are you dumb? Boy, you about to get roasted. The average human urinates six to eight times a day. If you've been doing that since you were born, that is 52,560 at the high side of that average. That number resembling nowhere near a million had to have been configured by a dim-witted moron. You'd have to be at least 342 years old peeing eight times a day to pee a million times or pee 34 times a day and live to 80. Tell me again, boy, who's dumb? What do you floss your teeth with? A mattress? Savage. This post brought to you by Mike Tython. We don't call 911. Yeah, when my mom fell down the stairs and broke her hip, we just shot her. Teen Olympian overslept, lost coat, set a swear on TV, and then won USA's first gold of 2018. Ha, <laughs> overslept. That sums up the work ethic of that generation. How many gold medals do you and your cat have? Go knit some cat mittens, Debra. I've never been more proud of my country. Hello, Kim. What's up, weirdo? Oh, why do I have to be a weirdo? Well, if you weren't a weirdo, Kim would have given you her real phone number. Tent poles are not for pole dancing. Please find alternative ways to disappoint your father. Well, thank God there's a designated smoking area behind that not for pole dancing pole because, hey, it's never too late to get lung cancer. Fitness club, if you are too weak to re-rack your weights, let the girls at the front desk know. They got your back. Thank you, staff and members. Tortoises can drink water through their butts. Somehow this has to be a basis for a good insult. Somebody help, please. Well, fun fact, a tortoise can drink water with its rectum, but unfortunately, you're a completely useless asshole. Dodgeball is a tool of, quote, oppression used to, quote, dehumanize others, researchers argue. Now, whoever wrote this probably got picked last every time. That was the most disgusting ad I've ever seen. Well, thanks for your lovely feedback. We've passed it on to literally nobody. I'm glad when I used to skate as a kid, my parents didn't make me look like a dork by wearing some pointless helmet. Generation Snowflake strikes again. Ah, imagine how nice you would have been without all the head injuries. Okay, so there's this guy I see all the time at the gym that is so hot. He's cute and has a nice body, yes, but something particular about the way he looks and moves just really gets me going. Sounds perfect, right? The problem is that he's significantly shorter than me, which makes me really sad. Like, why does Berkeley have to be so full of short guys? Hey, I mean, look on the bright side. He might be able to safely dive into you, with him being so short, and you being so shallow. <laughs> uh, we stand a short king. I've got a penis and a knife, and one of them's going inside you. Honestly, I'd prefer the knife, because that way I'd actually get to feel something. Women shouldn't say bad words. Retweet if you agree. Hello, Nick. I'm a reporter with KLWG in Boise. I'm doing a story on men who have never pleasured a woman sexually. May I use your tweets? I asked my husband if I'm the only one he's been with. He said yes. The others were all nines and tens. Send bail money. Imagine knowing a guy that can solve all your financial problems without asking for sex. His name is Employment. If we all switch to cursive and stick shift cars, we could cripple an entire generation. Yeah, that's a good idea. Their iPhones couldn't solve that problem. Well, actually they could, since we could look up how to do these things. I guess we can learn more from technology than we ever did from boomers. How big is the anti-vax community, really? It seems to be widely spread, but I've never met an anti-vaxxer in real life. Oh, I've met a couple. I think it's regional and they often lay relatively low. Except for the really crazy ones. Yeah, that or they're too busy attending their kids' funerals. Someone sends an unsolicited dick pic. 
Wait, did you just send me a picture of a child penis? What? N no. What's wrong with you? That looks like a child's penis. I'm reporting this. Uh, yeah, not that pedophilia is ever funny, but damn, that was a good comeback. Jennifer Lopez says men are useless until they turn 33. Oh, by all means. Let's give a damn about relationship advice from a woman that collects engagement rings like she's Thanos. Okay, if JLo's engagement rings were actually Infinity Stones, they have literally the worst powers ever. Like what? Her 6.1 carat radiant cut pink diamond ring from her 2002 engagement to Ben Affleck would give her a particular weakness to the name Martha? It might have saved Superman, but it clearly couldn't save their relationship given that she acquired her fourth Infinity Stone a year later. What about her most recent addition? Alex Rodriguez? This guy? What, she now has the ability to buy a $5 million engagement ring after losing $40 million to banned PED use? I mean, you know she has to be a bad Thanos because Batman was able to chase her off all on his own. I just love how music can take you to another place. The, for example, Megan Trainor's playing in this cafe, so now I'm going to a different cafe. Okay, so you're anti-abortion, but also anti-vax. Make up your mind. Do you want the kid dead or not? Many three-year-olds have trouble staying within the lines. Maybe if you practice coloring with this turtle, it will help with your parking. Hey, who the hell left this on my car in Lot 30? I, I just want to talk. Turtle doesn't want to talk. He wants to sit there silently judging you for how incompetent you are behind the wheel of the vehicle. I had measles as a kid, and I'm still alive and well. Well, I was hit by a car while bicycling, and I'm alive. However, I do still believe it's better for drivers not to hit bicyclists. You say you like baseball, and I've never met a girl who likes baseball. Now, I love baseball. Okay, then name the NL East teams in the next 10 seconds, no Googling. Ready? Go. Well, it was nice to have met you, and maybe it was brave of you to ask this question, but it's somewhat insulting. I could fill you in on the answer, but I'll have to pass. It seems to be a national problem with men trying to expose, bonus, girls for not being real sports fans instead of taking our word for it. But don't worry, you know what they say, there's other Marlins in the sea. Okay, I'm a huge fan of baseball, I probably wouldn't have been able to name all the teams in the NL East off the top of my head. Let's stop gatekeeping sports, shall we? Why do all the cute guys have to be gay? Such a waste of a man. Look, there's almost 8 billion people. Maybe the problem isn't them being gay. During the 18th century, the politician John Montague insulted rival John Wilkes by saying, Upon my soul, Wilkes, I don't know whether you'll die upon the gallows or of syphilis. To which Wilkes replied by saying, That will depend, my lord, on whether I embrace your principles or your mistress. A vaccine to prevent autism would completely confuse anti-vaxxers. I mean, let's be honest. A piece of paper with please turn over on both sides would completely confuse anti-vaxxers. Are you an SAT? Because I'd do you for 3 hours and 45 minutes, with only a water break. I'm more like a driver's test. Your enthusiasm to take me is adorable, but you're most likely 16 and don't know what you're doing. Atheists can determine right wrong, immoral, subjectively, but ultimately, they have absolutely no basis for morality. Yeah, until I read the Bible, I had no idea how to treat my slaves and which children to murder. Fortunately, the Bible makes it all clear to me. Should we elect more millennials to Congress? Well, given my understanding of linear time, I'm fascinated to hear what the alternative is. Let me get this straight. You're asking me what has gotten better with the current generation? The generation that snorts condoms and eats Tide Pods? Oh, as opposed to the generation that made black people use separate water fountains and fired folks for being gay? I'll take the condom trick any day of the week. I wish for the ability to switch between normal sight and sight that makes me see all the people that want to have sex with me. Granted, you now have the ability to close your eyes. Oof. Rest in pieces, OP. Rest in pieces. Scientists processed 109 hours of oral sex to develop an AI that sucks dick. Ah, they should have just called EA. They've been making software that sucks dick for years. Yesterday, I asked my 12-year-old son what other kids at school think about him having two dads. His response? 
They don't care, but they don't like how I'm immune to yo mama jokes. Uh, yo mama so ugly, yo dad had to get a husband. Thank you to everyone who watched this video. Be sure to subscribe for more daily Reddit content. Drop a like if you liked the video, and I will see you all tomorrow.